Okay, we're going to go here. We took this tutorial called Creating Beats. We followed it step by step. We learned how to use our keyboard to enter things. And then we went so far as to record. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Episode 13, Beats. In today's episode, we re-entered. We had been working in what we call Studio 2, which is our... Studio 1 is the kitchen table with our main computer. Studio 2 is our bedroom with our backup computer. And we go back and forth trying to learn our Keystep MIDI controller and the software that came with it. And in doing that, we reflected that it's reinforcing our learnings. For example, one computer uses a different music driver than the other for the things to work. Now, the software we've been using is called Live, Ableton Live Lite, and it's giving us a different visual interface that still lets us draw our notes and select timbres and noodle around. So because we're in this intense learning curve, um, we discovered they have this really helpful um, help screen and we decided to create beats. And we followed all this stuff step by step. And um, this was the place where we started. Uh, there's all these weird things you gotta do. But basically, if you have this little piano keyboard up here that I don't have to use a MIDI controller. Then you can use ASTF. You, you see we're, we're hitting the keys here. And A is making the kick down here. And the snare. And up here we've got a nice tom. So we said we could noodle. That's just using our, that's like touch typing. So we learned all that. Then we proceeded through the tutorial and we learned how we could record something. And this was kind of the entry level backbeat room. See all of these things. Those are things we could have used, but we just picked a simple one in the tutorial. And over here by double clicking here and so turning that thing orange, you suddenly have a magic ability to enter, guess what, MIDI notes. So that's what we did. So um, And what we learned is these look like piano keys, right? Piano keys with no black notes and um, a is and, and S is, is the next one and blah 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 but you can see that we used a kick a snare and a tom and so we successfully did that and then we used file export because what good is all this if we can't export the audio oh look we can also export a MIDI clip which we didn't realize um, this is Let's do that right now. This is our Beats tutorial. We'll just call it Beats tutorial MIDI. And if we use our MIDI animator player, we should be able to see that. Uh, come up here, come up here, source files live. We had to make a new thing called source files live. Look. Let's see what happens here. So obviously it doesn't know how to recognize drum beats, but this one does. Then they said, just for grins, just for fun, drag something else over there. And um, actually we could, we could, I think we could do this. Let's, let's dare to be great for a minute.
So we can drop different sample sets and we could even do stuff like um, that. And all of it is the same pattern that we were looking at a minute ago. It's and it's these keys. These keys are playing, being driven by MIDI signals. And because they're MIDI signals, and because this new software we've got can feed the MIDI to any sound clip we want. But mainly, we were excited because we did a cool drum sound. So, so that concludes today's episode and chapter. Um, our ideas for next time are to continue continue with our tutorials. We also are going to go ahead and post um, and share the Perspective 3 animation that we completed in the last episode. Shout outs to Steady Worker who gave us the patience to keep working with this new learning curve. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty impressed. We're pretty impressed with this, this help this help thing that comes with this program and walk you through this step by step. So tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.